Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, Capricorn. Oh, what is up with your energy? Page of Pentacles, Strength, Four of Cups. Oh. Cappies, what are you doing? New adventure, new opportunity. Mm. You're changing things up. Ah, oh, Cappies, I think you're going to choose to go your own way. I think you're going to choose to go your own way. Are you dealing with a Leo? Leo in your chart. We got moon at the bottom. Is uh, Leo your moon sign? What's up with this Capricorns? Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Head over Heart, Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords, Sweet Jesus, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, okay, damn, you're definitely moving forward, moving onward, this is going to be a head over heart decision, I don't necessarily think it's going to be too hard a decision though, keep focusing on you, this Pentacle energy, stay grounded, stay focused, right? Perhaps now's not the time to get too emotionally connected. You got a lot of change energy around you, Capricorn. Kind of go with the flow, you know what I mean? Trust, tr trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Yeah, that you definitely there's. There's an energy around you that is, is it's, it's trying to stay kind of connected to you, Capricorns. You need to make sure you sort of sever that connection and move forward. Um, four of Cups to the Five of Cups. Uh, Capricorn. Some of you are just focused on yourself. You are just focused on you. The tangible energies. Yeah, look at that. There you are. Four of pentacles. It's just you. Definitely. Be mindful of the energies you tap into, Capricorn. Endings, new beginnings, but you're, you're kind of leaving something behind. Person, place, thing, whatever the hell this is. Ace of cups. The sun card. The two of wands. King of pentacles. Yeah. Um... Hot damn, Capricorn. Some of you, this illusionary energy, right? The emotional side of things. You're more focused on the tangible. So, if you read romance novels, right? They're great to read, but a life in that energy, really, doesn't quite work, right? Um, it's a grounded energy, so it's... it's um, Cappies, it's like you can chase your dreams. You can accomplish your goals, Um they're not like, it's not like wishful thinking. So, Capricorn, this sort of stuck energy, emotional stagnation, uh, you're kind of, uh, you're ahead of the game here. It, it's about this grounded energy. Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles. Oh. So, Cappy, some of you, you're just not. Some of you, if you were dating, you could have just called things off. Some of you aren't dating. You're focusing pentacle energy. You, If you're chasing a dream, if you're working on something, you got this sort of grounded energy about you. Some of you are definitely working. Page of Cups energy, Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles. So... <clears throat> Cappies, whatever this is for you, you realize that uh, the current model isn't exactly what the fuck you need. It's like um, uh, whatever it is you're working on, and you're definitely doing a lot of work here, this pentacle energy. It's what do you really need? <sighs> you're definitely focused on you, focused on you, focused on work, uh, great opportunities coming in. Relationship wise, you're really you're not giving. Now, this doesn't have to be romantic for some of you. This is just life energy. You're mindful of that sort of emotional connection. 
you're really finding happiness. And this is like grounded energy, right? It's like the brochure looks great, but when you get there, the destination, and you look around, you're like, well, okay, this is nice, but it's really not viable. Oh, so you're looking at things from a hell of a lot more grounded, realistic point of view. The moon energy, Libra energy, high priestess, judgment energy, nine of wands with the three of cups. Oh. Capricorn, you got someone that's just kind of stuck. Cappies, I think if someone brought the Seven of Cups energy around you, it just didn't work. So any sort of manipulation or anything like that, it, it isn't fucking working, you know? So... Cappies, those of you on dating sites, those of you out and about doing your thing, the Seven of Cups. Cappies, this is almost that sort of runner-chaser energy, right? But the person that likes to get chased never gets caught because basically once someone catches them, they realize they don't have much to offer. That's why there's always that sort of uh, runner-chaser mentality. It's kind of like that. This could be an emotional relationship, partnership around you. Doesn't have to be romantic. For some of you, this could just be sort of a life energy. That is just, you don't know where the fuck you stand with them. It's like the friend that's not really a friend. Who can you trust? Um, who needs to be sort of on this journey that you're taking? Who needs this opportunity with you? This is like you get a job promotion and someone wants you to sort of promote them with you. But... I mean, is it really the right fit? Is it really the right sort of connection? You're not given emotionally, which isn't fucked up. It's just you're, you're making a decision. You definitely have offers. You definitely have opportunities. Uh, you're definitely focused on this Ten of Cups. You know what you want. Probably more so now than you did. You're looking at things differently. The more grounded and focused you became. You became, you become. Some of you are still kind of learning this process. Getting rid of that stagnant energy you don't need. Damn, Cappies. But that Seven of Cups energy, right? You ain't got time to figure out what the hell someone is thinking or feeling. Uh, your King, Queen of Swords energy. If they can't enunciate it, if they can't speak on it, then... You know, what the fuck? You got more important things to do. Grounded in the reality. Romance might be nice, but that's not realistic, right? That's lighting, that's, you know, right, music, candlelight, whatever the fuck. You're more focused on this grounded energy. What works? I do feel you are open to relationships and partnerships with this Ten of Cups, but you kind of got to figure out what the hell works for you. What that Ten of Cups embodies for you. And who are you going to be able to work and sort of create and grow with that? Cappies, I don't feel like that emotional sort of uh, uh, codependency is really your strong suit. Because you've got other things to be focused on. If someone's looking at you for that sort of emotional codependency, you're not exactly the one that's that's going to give it to them, right? Uh, you expect your person to have their shit together enough. So you can sit down and have conversations. There's no wishy-washy energy. With the seven and the three of cups, ten of cups energy. So Capricorn, it's not that you're not open to relationships or partnerships. You kind of know what that is for you at that ten of cups. So you probably left the situation, person, place, or thing that tried to make you emotionally codependent or they tried to become emotionally codependent upon you capricorn and you're like uh, uh that shit don't work with me uh express yourself or get the fuck out use your words right this seven of cups energy yeah that shit don't work uh you definitely have offers you have opportunities some of you be mindful with the online dating 
Cappies beware of scam energy. I think your big thing here is uh, you're not emotionally sort of uh, vulnerable to that, right? In the sense that if someone don't know what the hell they want, they can't express themselves through words, you're not going to further this shit. You don't play the guessing game, right? You're not into that. Uh, uh, oh, what do you think of her feeling, right? If you have to ask that question, uh, nah, you're not sticking around for that. Because you're grounded and focused. That's what makes the that's what makes opportunities work, right? Ten of Cups only works if there's a grounded energy. Cappies, for some of you, you expect a, a, a household with two working partners. So I don't know if you come out of a situation where one worked and one didn't, or you're finding yourself in that energy where you kind of like this duality with you. Cappies, you sort of buck tradition on this. Oh, I'm loving this for you, Capricorn. You do have opportunities, Capricorn. If you're out there, you're wanting to date. You know that. Some of you, it's a stuck energy. You don't do that sort of, uh, what the fuck is he or she thinking with that seven of cups? Uh, that shit ain't cute to you. You're like, you're grown up. Use your fucking words or get the fuck out. Uh, definitely no emotional codependency. That's not what you're about. Some of you are definitely focused on this pentacle energy, so... Oh, some of you, the financial codependency could be an issue that you have, right? Seven of Swords, Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Chariot Energy, Six of Pentacles. Wow. You got a lot of damn good energy around you. So Capricorn, if some of you ain't dealing with a romantic relationship or partnership, this could just be a friend or a work associate or someone who just kind of wants to go on this journey with you. Because if you don't know your self-worth, Capricorn, someone else does. Someone wants to kind of hit you right on that gravy train. This could very well be a comeback around energy. Again, with this, everything is fine strength cards. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo Two of Swords, be mindful of who or what you deal with, who or what you give to. So, no sort of freebie energy here, Capricorn. Whatever you're focused on, whatever you're doing, no freebie energy. Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Whatever you got going on, Capricorn, you're, you're focused on it. Just be mindful. Just be mindful. Um, damn, Kathy, some of you could be hiring, bringing on new people into your life, into your situation. Just be mindful. If you know someone isn't worth the time, energy, or effort, then, you know, why even go so far as to take a meeting or do the interview or even deal with this person? You're definitely in a manifesting energy. Someone sees that. So stay focused on that. And it is more grounded energy here. So Capricorn, uh, if this ain't a romantic relationship for you, this could be a work situation, a work partnership. Some of you, the company, if you're changing companies up, that could be the energy here. It's kind of time for you to just kind of focus on your own. Damn, this codependency energy. Capricorn, whatever this was for you, it's like an emotional connection. But some of you have probably outgrown it. You're moving forward. You're moving onward here, Capricorn. But there is that stuck energy because you're moving on without someone else some of you this is a work opportunity you get the promotion you get the advancement you get the opportunity and someone just wants to tag the fuck along along now you need to do this by yourself damn cappies your duality here is fucking amazing 
Yeah, because you're you're working on that forward pen. Whatever the fuck you're doing, you're doing a hell of a job, Cappies. Growth, expansion, but you need to leave that sort of cups energy behind. Going after that nine of cups. If you don't see yourself worth Capricorn, someone else does. So, you know, be mindful of those opportunists. Be mindful of those opportunities. Keep it grounded. Keep it focused. Damn, Capricorn, this is, uh, th this is kind of about you. That emotional sort of connected energy, you don't, that don't work for you. That don't work for you. You don't play games as far as that emotional thing is, right? Say what you feel or get the fuck out because you're wasting time, right? Use your words. Because you're definitely focused. So, Cappies, kind of be mindful of any sort of emotional uh, people, places, and things that are just basically going to take up time. There really is Seven of Cups. There's really no resolution energy yet. Someone just needs to make a fucking decision. That could be you, Capricorns, uh, just deciding that you're not dealing with that indecisiveness, right? Know what you want. Speak your words or get the fuck out. Because if you don't know... You're going to make the decision and not go there. Because you're definitely focused on this pentacle energy. You're definitely pulling in some positivity. So, damn it, Cappies, if you don't know your worth, someone else does. Some of you, there could be this Leo energy that's kind of stuck around you. There's that Scorpio energy. But the Scorpio there with the Knight of Pentacles, that's like unresolved energy. It's unresolved energy. The same with this. Everything is fine and strength. That's just unresolved energy. Some of you, there, there's no solutions. It's just unresolved, whatever the fuck. It takes you off course here for this Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Chariot, and the Six of Pentacles. So, relationships or partnerships don't have to happen immediately. Uh, Capricorn, some of you are meant to focus on something else instead of just diversion energy that really gets nowhere you'd just be spinning your fucking tires not getting nowhere it's a stuck energy but cappies if you don't know you're worth someone else does who wants to hop on that gravy train with you cappies the uh, work love life energy with this to be quite honest with you that cups it doesn't have to be romantic relationships partnerships uh, you get an opportunity, someone wants to be right along there with you. Um, but it all comes down to that Seven of Cups energy. It's a manipulation. This is indecisiveness, so you need to kind of put an end to that. That's just a waste of your time, energy, or effort. Right? Use your words or get the fuck out. If you don't know, move the fuck on. Work love life on this. You have options. You have opportunities. So whatever this is, uh, Capricorn, uh, you have choices. Yeah, some of you are all about bringing that sort of balance energy in. Cap is I do feel you have a lot of energy around you. A lot of different people. Um, a lot of these major arcanas. So it's, it's pretty big energy. It's a pretty interesting time but damn when in doubt choose yourself because you're never going to go wrong there uh so cappy some of you have a lot of unresolved issues people places things in your life but they're kind of side distractions for you you need to be more head over heart here Focus on that pentacles energy. You're definitely switching it up. You're switching it up this two of pentacles. Allow the change. Allow the change. Oh, cappies, cappies, cappies. That is absolutely fucking beautiful. This encompasses so much though, Capricorn. Uh... It, not necessarily romantic relationships, just any sort of that emotional connection. 
you need more clarity now than what you do that sort of uh like empty promise energy that indecisiveness now is not the time to be indecisive ring my bell ring my bell like share subscribe peace love and light capricorn